show how to use a Microsoft to analyze the, the protein coding DNA sequence data for the West Nile viruses lab. So this is, uh, I downloaded the file, make sure uh, uh, download the file is uh, extracted. The zip file has to be extracted. And then I'm going to pick the wnv.mns file. Um, right click on it, open with the Mega. It's a, a little very slower on, on Mac because it runs through the emu uh, emulated Windows environment. So it takes a while to run on Mac. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. All right, so this is, uh, this is what I see for the DNA sequence data. So I'm first going to translate it into protein sequences. Uh, translate all the selected uh, sequences using the standard codon. Okay, and then I'm going to align it, uh, alignment. I'm going to align by cluster. Uh, uh, select all. Okay, so everything is by default. Click OK. Uh, <laughs> alignment explore, and then I'm going to uh, explore the alignment as a Mac format. Uh, it's called. I'm going to say uh, demo. Dot meg. It really doesn't matter which file uh, you choose. You can you can also start with meg, but then. Uh, well, this is the uh, title. I'm going to say West Nile Virus Lab. Uh, okay. Uh, then I go back to the main window to generate phylogeny. I'm going to use the neighbor join method. And uh, which one I'm going to use? Use the demo.meg file. Open. Uh, so, in this window, there are actually a few options, um, but that's usually uh, uh, too detailed for an uh, undergraduate of course. So, I'm going to choose everything by, uh, by default, and then compute, and there, that's your tree. Uh, so, uh, PNG file. I'm going to save it as, uh, say, a demo. PNG. 